All right, so the market's up. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna sell the S and P. We bought the S and P yesterday here, um, and now it's up here. So that worked out really well, really, really well, like perfect, like almost too well. So we got to sell that. Not that I don't think it's going to keep going, but I, I actually think the opposite. I think that's going to go down. So let's let's get rid of the 12 shares we have, the S&P. All right, let's look sell. I'm going to go to market sale, market order. Sell 12, everything looks good. Order All right. partially filled. Oh, I sold 100. Order filled. I sold 100 instead of 12. So, of course, I messed that up again. Uh, so now I'm short way too much. I'm short 30 Three thousand dollars worth of S and P. When I have a, um, um, only have a uh, fifty thousand dollar account here. Again, this is a small account because I'm trying to compete with um, uh, this on Monday. This trading competition. Um, let me see here. I need unrealized PNL. There we go. All right. So I got to get out of. I wanted to short a little bit actually, but I have to get out of almost all of this. So let me cover 80. So I gotta fix that mistake real quick. Order filled. Okay. So I only wanted to be short eight S and P. So now I flip from a long to a short, which is usually a bad idea, by the way. Going 100% uh, going 100% um, backwards, right? Um, from long to short is usually not a good idea. In my experience, usually the market will, whatever stock, not just the S&P uh, ETF, but any stock, you know, you don't want to be flipping from long to short quickly. I think that's weird because typically you're, you're, maybe I find a way to draw what I'm talking about. This is a bad habit I have to break, so maybe I should break it now by just getting out of what I'm talking about. Um, but you know, basically, let's say you use white. Okay, so let's say you have a stock to moseying along, you decide the stock's a buy and it goes up, right? So you've been kind of long throughout this period. All right, green for your position, you're long. At some point, you stop being long, so now you're just say black or near neutral. Let's call that white, a white color. Or maybe yellow. Yellow means hold, and right. And then you decide to flip to red. This is sort of more normal behavior, right? Because if you look at the price, find a different color. All right. So if you look at the price, like, all right. So here, up to here. This is supposed to be a straight line. So you bought down here, and it's kind of a, you felt it was a buy, as long as it's in this blue box, which means basically up to this stock price. The more important part of the box is this line. Right up to here, it's a buy. You feel like at this price, you wouldn't buy it, right? Usually as things go up, we are less attracted to them, but that's not always true. And that after this price, right, the, the yellow line is really just a demarcation between yellow and red. We're above that price, you would sell it or even short it, right? So the thing that I just did, where I went from long in the green box, or the blue box, and I said, you know what, there is no yellow box because as soon as it's above this price, I decided it's in the red box and I want to sell it and short it. That doesn't make much sense because the yellow box represents what? The yellow box represents, to me at least, and this is my own method, nobody really talks about it this way. But the yellow box represents basically uncertainty. Right? This is basically. you're being uncertain. And I think there's, you know, there's nobody trading who 
um, is certain of anything, right? Um, so the idea that like you've gone from having a long position down here in the green box, sorry, where you're convinced that something's long, it's over here. And then all of a sudden you, you're convinced it's a short just because it crosses this line. That doesn't make any sense because there has to be some period where you actually don't care, you're neutral. Right now, the difference is if, if it gapped up quickly, so here's another stock price chart here, where it's mosing long, mosing long. Okay, try that one more time. It's mosing long, and then all of a sudden it gaps up like that, right? It's not maybe the best. Let me try again. Mosing long, and then it's a really steep increase. Well, then. This, remember the x-axis is time. It may just not have spent much time in the yellow zone, nearly enough time that you would have time to even react. So then it feels like an instantaneous change is okay because at this price you're you're willing to sort of you know change your mind. So anyway, there's some some thoughts on like um, investing. So it turns out it worked out just fine. We made. We're up again on our um, position, I guess. Um, I don't understand what this daily PL means, but oh, I think I get it now. Um, so we're getting a little lucky here in our first couple of days trading, but again, the competition starts on Monday, so it's not a Not really, haven't really gotten started yet. Just Amazon has only got till 2018. I want. I need older than that. I have to go to the 10K probably. <laughs> 